Now this barn is the original barn and it was built in 1920. Mm. Now Minnie Miller, who came to the island in 1918, she was a businesswoman. Yeah. And she was an entrepreneur. She was also a big game hunter. Now she came to this place and her goal was to get the, or to breed the finest Guernsey cows in the world. Right. Now, if you didn't know, Guernsey is the second largest island on the ch of the Channel Islands in the English Channel, and it's just off uh, Normandy, France. Okay. Now, that's where Guernsey cows come from, and it's known for the creamy milk. I guess the cows would come in here, put their heads through here, so they could munch on their food while they were being milked and then they would poop poop there so it would be easy to hose it all off. That's my understanding anyway. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. And of course in those days, I don't know when um, the actual electronic milk milking process came through because normally it would be milked by hand. Right. And there is a certain technique to milking a cow. You actually have to stroke their teats. And I know this because I've actually milked a cow. <laughs> True story. Mm. Now her goal was not to necessarily have the milk. It was to breed the cows to sell for the milk. But obviously, yeah. they did have to milk Milking the cows. operation here, right. Now another fun fact was Minnie kept track of all the improvements of her herd of cows and she had test cows. All their milk was measured and because the numbers were used to advertise the herds, she wanted the highest quality and production as possible. They all had a special diet and were milked every eight hours and they were fed carrots, ground grain and corn and cutting hay. And these were the test stools. Oh, it's upstairs. Nice. Let's take a look. So this would be the hayloft, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, the smell. The smell of hay. Oh. Because there's meant to be some screeching owls in here. I wonder if that's where the, the owl box, see? Oh, yeah. And you've got... Old chute, I guess. You can just drop the hay down to the, a cart waiting downstairs. This is pretty amazing. Look at the view. Oh, wow. And of course, in those days, that power plant wasn't there. Now these springs, the water, did you know they travel over a hundred miles from the lava beds and they seep down into the porous rocks and they estimate that it takes over 200 years for the water to make its way from the lava fields a hundred miles away to here and the water is so pure and crystal clean. Wow. True story. Wow. Look at all the waterfalls. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And that big one. Oh, the geyser. Mm. So this must be the stables. Ah, oh, yes, I am right. Oh, yeah. So four horses. So four stalls. And you've got all the tack. Yeah. So, fun fact about the horses they had here. They're called Percherons. Do you know why they're named that? I actually do, but I'll let you explain it. Okay. Because they're from a small province southeast of Paris, known as Perchy, hence the horse's nickname Perchy. But they bring. Yeah, the Percheron. 
So they bred these horses because they were actually war horses. So they're more muscular, they're bigger because they can hold the armor mm -hmm. better. So, fun fact. And they were introduced to America in 1839. That was when the first one came over. True story. You know everything. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, look at all the bridles and everything. Yeah, it's just, I love, and then, like you said, the, the things that we love the most, yeah, these are pretty neat. It's like one, the smell of the wood and then the smell of the leather with that. It's like it really brings the farm life to life. And the smell know? of the horse poop. Yeah, that too. Or as my dad would say, fertilizer. <laughs> this is really neat though. Where you see the old knob and tube wiring throughout too. Yeah. Now Minnie actually stayed here and bred the cattle right up until I think it was about 19... 52, I believe. She was here for about 35 years, and then it was sold to a judge, in actual fact, named Ritter, which is why the island is Ritter named island. Ritter Island. Okay. So unfortunately, there's not an awful lot of water left, believe it or not, because of the high demands. Yeah. But this area, well, Ritter Island, is the largest remaining natural and native spring in the area. Now, could you imagine if this is just a small amount of water, what it used to be like, I don't know, two or three hundred years ago when the Native Americans were here? Oh yeah, absolutely. The way it should be running, I mean, they, they cause dams and the irrigation and everything like that. And like I said, this is just a spectacularly beautiful area. It is. Isn't it? Yeah, it's really the rushing waters, the smell of the wildflowers. Now, one of these waterfalls is named after Minnie Miller. I'm not sure which one it is, I think it could possibly be that one. Let's gonna... sit and contemplate it. <laughs> I left the sandwiches in the car. Ah. Took some water. A butterfly. Hey, what gives? Did you get some? Hmm. Look at the butterflies, they're huge. Oh, wow. Now, that butterfly kind of looks like it's flying upside down. I don't know what, what it's called. That's why sometimes the designs on them, they're made to look like uh, something bigger than they actually are when they're landing to fight that's, against predators. I think that's why some of them have like, what look like eyes. Yeah. Now this is the type of place I'd like to step back in time to. Yeah. When the fur traders first came. Mm hmm Could you imagine coming, and even the Oregon Trail people, you know, traveling all that way and then coming across something like this with all the water, which is totally pure. Yeah, that's why, I mean, that's some of the best, I mean like, Iceland, they sell the, the Icelandic because it's volcanic mm -hmm. water, which is, you know, it's some of the best stuff that there is. Wonder why they don't bottle this. Not sure. Because spring water should also be put in glass containers. Did you know that? Not plastic. Yeah. Well, because plastic, all the stuff they put into it, as soon as it's in the sun, it starts to degrade leaching all the chemicals into pure water. 
plus the impact of plastic in the environment. Mm. People don't know how to use trash cans. Shall we see if there's another bench further down overlooking the waterfall? Yeah. Now this is more like it. It's almost like being in a tropical paradise. Makes you wonder though, as I said earlier, a lot of this water has been dammed and, and taken for other uses. I wonder how many waterfalls there would have been prior to that. I mean, they call this Thousand Springs State Park. Yeah. So is there still a Thousand Springs or was there a Thousand Springs? Right. Could there have been more? Yeah, because it also makes you wonder, because if you start to count the little ones, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, you see how it's like a bunch of, it's not just one. There's a bunch of them that start to run together. So is that the portion I mean, of it? You could just drink it. Yeah. Because it's so pure. Can you believe that? Two hundred years. So that water flowing now has been underground for, for 200, 200 years. years. And all the impurities, well, 200 years ago, there wasn't so many impurities it, yeah, in the atmosphere anyway. Exactly. It's very majestic, isn't it? It is, and it's, there is something about the sound of water that, it's like the ocean, the sound of the ocean, or streams and waterfalls. It is. It sounds kind of like white noise, like static, but the more it just, it does draw you in. It's like watching a fire, a campfire. Shall we continue our journey? I suppose we should. You just see one of the baby heads. That's dad on patrol. Mum's looking after the chicks. I've got another fun fact about this island. Since it's now a nature conservancy, every year at Christmas, they do the annual bird count. And every single year, Ritter Island has had the highest count in the entire state. True story. Now, as far as I know, I believe, that's what they refer to as the rock house. And that was where Minnie lived. And that was also built in 1920. 